Welcome back to Superstar English and we are doing Composition Advanced and this is Lesson 8. I have taught you quite a fair bit of stuff uh, concerning writing, about planning, about brainstorming. Okay, today I'm going to introduce you a new word. Whoa, this is a long word, okay? It is read as onomatopoeia, okay? What is onomatopoeia? Okay, have you ever heard of this or has a teacher ever told you about this? Well, let's see. Well, onomatopoeia are basically sound words, okay? May mean nothing more than what the sound makes, like boom, okay, ka-ching, all right, things like that. Now, many uh, onomatopoeic words have come to actually mean other things related to the sounds they make. For example, do you know that um, the word slap, this word, was actually a, an onomatopoeic word? Because if you think about it, I'm not asking you to slap somebody, but you just do this. <coughs> right? It sounds like slap, <coughs> slap or clap. All right? So that is the sound that was made and somebody just thought of it and started to write that word. And it became so, so much used that it became an English word okay? to mean slap or clap. Okay? So that is what an onomatopoeic word means. Okay? So wow, look at this. You have got all of these and you know that when you are reading, um, say, a comic, a comic strip, okay, these kind of words will always come out. And why is it that comic strips are more uh, interesting than storybooks? Well, because of all of these actions and boom and zoom and bam and crash and zing and zoom, right? That makes the story alive, right? You agree with me, all right? Um, in the market, there are some books, okay, when I say in the market, I mean like in the bookstores, okay? There are some books that have, have these kind of words deliberately highlighted to make the story interesting. Just go and flip in the bookstore, bookstore you will see some. And these are quite interesting books, okay? But of course, if you're already at primary five, I really don't encourage you to be reading that level of books. That one, I will en only encourage the younger ones to read, okay? When you are at primary five, or primary six, you should be reading uh, w books with even with these words, but it's just in open and close inverted commas. Okay, so a word of caution please do not write things like this in your composition, like drawing the bubble and then writing boom inside. Please don't do that. Okay, 